in January 2012, the Global Gender Parity Group looked at how we could take a systemic approach to closing gender gaps at the national level. So Women empowerment is key for economic development. We know that we cannot reach that goal if we left women behind. Public sector also has the primary responsibility. Much of the work is going to be done in the private sector. However, the public policy environment will affect the choices that are available to the companies and also the choices that are available to women. This is a critically important area for public-private partnerships. One of the tough issues when you think about gender on a global basis is culture. And finding what's going to work best for you, be it your company or your country, is really important we decided to create three pilot country task forces in countries that can serve as role models to other parts of the world. The idea here is to take these three countries, Mexico, Japan, and Turkey, and closing economic gender gaps by 10% in three years. Gaps in wage differences, promotion opportunities, and labor market participation rates. In Mexico, we've identified massive corporations that can have a tremendous impact by empowering women in the supply chains or within the corporate sector. We also tend to forget men and their role, and not just as an economic provider. In Turkey, the public and the private sector have agreed to work on an awareness issue that those women that do make it into the workforce rarely go beyond middle management level positions. In Japan, there's a group of companies, there's public sector leaders who really understand that unless Japan integrates women into the workforce, there's going to be a detrimental impact on Japan's competitiveness. Behavior change is the first thing we can do. This is a place to come up with an idea and you know, reach agreement, then find out a way how to execute and implement it. As they're reaching the goals, I think, again, there's going to be an enormous amount of learning that all of us can do. It's one thing to have these sort of theoretical analysis, but it's another to actually put it into practice. We'd like to develop a general framework as a result of the task forces, which can be used by other countries. The Forum already has commitments from very senior ministers and very senior leaders to engage in this, to commit resources to this.